My name is Comrade Sonny Ofehe, a human and environmental rights activist from the oil-rich Niger Delta region of Nigeria. In 2010, at the Dutch parliamentary hearing in The Hague on the role of oil giant company Shell in Nigeria, I presented in the most passionate way ever the hazards caused by gas flare on the life of the people of the Niger Delta region. I also made the audience understand the love and acceptance they gave to the oil companies when they discovered crude oil in the region in the late 50s. Most of my communities struggle with gas flare. And I watch on the news all the time about people campaigning for a better climate. And I wonder why that campaign is not coming to the Niger Delta for an end to common gas flare. And we've seen our environment destroyed by the oil companies trying to make profit. And today what we have in the Niger Delta is as water sea swamps polluted and by leakage is caused by the arbitrary unprofessional method of oil processing. And we've seen that our major occupation we used to be fishing and farming has been taken away from us by the oil company and the Nigerian government whose focus is how they can make a lot of profit from our region. That more than 26 million people are dying from environmental devastation. I want you to consider that and know that for every fuel that you tank in the police station, it is at the expense of somebody's health. We have so many cases of lung diseases, leukemia, premature death. And one of the characteristics you can use to identify somebody from the Niger Delta, including myself, is red eye. From the age of five, we start developing red eye because the only life we see is the gas flare. Gas flare is the burning of all associated gases during crude oil extractions. These poisonous gases are allowed to burn openly in the atmosphere of where the people live. There are no proper precautions taken to protect the people. Despite a ban on the process since 2008, Nigeria is still considered the second most gas flare country in the world after Russia. This process must stop to save the people of the Niger Delta region from further environmental damages.